Goodbye, Black Ops. Hello, Modern Warfare 3. Hey everyone, it's Magic People and holy smokes, Modern Warfare 3. This is, uh, the YouTube community has got to be going insane right now. It's, uh, whoa, 4.40 in the morning. I've been playing this thing since I got it at midnight and I got it, I got back around, uh, 1, 1 is when I started playing and I'm, oh man, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm a little disappointed though. I had, uh, I had recorded the the first two episodes of the campaign and doing I was doing a live commentary while I played and I also recorded live my very first uh, online match. Unfortunately though the audio kind of got screwed up, but you know, I thought I'd still put something out there today. This is a 25 and 3 uh, team deathmatch. I'm using God. I don't even know what things are called yet. That's how fresh this is. This is how raw and how inexperienced everyone is at this game is right now. I don't know the map. I don't know the gun. I'm sure one of you will be able to correct me in the comments. So hopefully uh, everyone else can see. But 25 and 3, I got the AC-130 gunship because I unlocked that and I love that thing. And uh, the only downside is that this really isn't a map for the AC-130. It's uh, it's all inside basically, so it's kind of hard to um, get those kills with the air support. But hey, let's, let's jump right into it. Let's, let me give you guys my first impressions. I know that everyone's doing these videos right now, but here's my take on it. And, you know, if you value my opinion, here you go. Everything seems really, really balanced. And I've only played Team Deathmatch, so let's, let's get that straight right off the bat. Everything seems very, very balanced. The uh, graphics are great. The worlds are, or the maps, I should say, are very detailed. Um, the guns feel good. And it, it's just, there doesn't seem to be anything overpowered yet. Nothing cheap. Like, there just doesn't, it seems fair, which is, I guess, uh, a really important thing. It's something that people probably don't feel it was true with Black Ops. And, uh, okay, let's talk about the heavy hitters. Quick scoping. I tried the Barrett, and I it doesn't feel like you can quick scope like you could back in the day, which I personally like. I didn't like how there's those BS guys who just would run around with like the intervention, you know, popping heads all the time. I like it as it is. You can still scope pretty fast. You can get uh, some easy snipe kills, but it still takes some skill. That being said, though, what I've played so far, again, in only team deathmatch, there's not really been any levels where a sniper would have uh, suited better than an assault rifle. And that can really be said, uh, that can really be true for everything. I mean, I've used uh, some submachine gun classes just to kind of test things out. Of course, you know, it's a time to experiment and see what's going on. And uh, to be honest, I've never really seen uh, a huge advantage to a submachine gun class versus an assault rifle, aside from the fact that you were very quick on your feet. And uh, you know, the submachine guns seem to have really nice high rates of fire, which is pretty good. But I don't think you're at a loss if you're using a, uh, an assault rifle. But, uh, man, what else is there to talk about? Holy smokes. It's, uh, there's almost too much to talk about for the terms of, like, how long there is. The campaign uh, picks up right after Modern Warfare 2, right after uh, Soap gets stabbed. So you start right where you left off. It's really riveting, really interesting so far. I'm on the third level, I believe, just the, the beginning of the third level. You get to see Captain Price again. You get to see a whole bunch of characters again. It's pretty cool. I won't really give anything away, but I probably will put up some campaign videos in the near future. Uh, what else is there to say about multiplayer? All right, well, let's talk about some cons. Uh, I kind of touched on this already, but the assault rifle seems to be enough to do the trick. I've yet to have a reason to try the light machine guns. I've yet to have a, re a real reason to snipe, again, mostly because of the map. I've not. I've kind of steered away from uh, submachine guns, and I guess it's typical for most players. Most players do stick with the assault rifles. But uh, I don't know, I, the one thing that I like, and this is kind of touching on Battlefield 3, and I hate making the comparison because the games are not the same game whatsoever. You cannot compare them, in my opinion. But to compare the two, wow, hypocrisy. Um, Battlefield really does a great job in terms of making you play your role, making you play a class. And I haven't experienced that yet in Modern Warfare 3. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. I haven't experienced it just yet, but uh, not, to say, not to say it won't kind of develop. Um, the other thing too, though, is that at this point, no one really knows the maps, so there's not really any camping. People can't camp because they don't know where places are to camp. Here you, go, there you go, guys. AC-130. You can kind of see what I mean. Like mostly inside, kind of hard to shoot anybody. But yeah, so no one really can camp because no one really knows where to camp. They don't know where the high traffic areas are just yet. They're kind of just wandering around hoping to find some enemies. So hopefully that doesn't change, but it does feel pretty good compared to Black Ops in that regards. Not so campy, and I've yet to been killed. I yet, I'm yet to have been killed by a noob tube or a claymore, so stuff like that's pretty good too. I gotta say, uh, it is refreshing not to, you know, hop into a game and just get killed instantly. What else did I talk about? Spawns. I've to date so far, I've not really noticed a, any issues with spawns. It seems to be uh, the spawns seem to be working very well. You're never really put, being placed uh, 
too close to the enemy. It doesn't seem like they're popping you behind the enemy either. So I think it's uh, a bit more a bit more linear in the sense that you are going to spawn closer to your team. That's what I've been experiencing so far. All of this could be wrong, but this is just what I've seen in the first little bit. I've noticed uh, no lag. I had one host migration, and even that game wasn't even laggy. It's probably because the guy quit, not because it was a bad connection. Uh, I don't know if that has anything to do with it being a better game or you know whatever. Because I, I even Black Ops like it was run off of host Xboxes, if I'm understanding correctly. But uh, yeah, good connection, good gameplay. Seems pretty balanced. Now one thing though, one thing guys that really breaks my heart, and uh, I gotta critique the M16. It sucks. It really does suck. I mean, like I said, everything's balanced except for the M16. It's it's useless. It's one of the first two uh, unlocked weapons. Um, but oh man, it sucks. It's got a really slow rate of fire, so the time between bursts is very slow, and uh, it doesn't kill up close like it used to. Like it just everyone people can turn around and kill you. So I don't recommend that if you're just getting started. If you love the M16, try to find something else. I'm using the. Uh, all right, man. I already told you. I don't remember what it is, but. After this game, I was using the uh, the Scar a lot. Scar with a red dot sight is pretty good, not too much kick. Um, in terms of the specializations and stuff, I haven't really dove much into that because I haven't uh, unlocked too much. Uh, the kill streaks are pretty cool. I like the support class. Support class is very recommended for when you're learning the maps because the uh, they don't your kill streaks stack up and they don't disappear. Uh, you know, once you die. But yeah. Gameplay is coming to a close here. Overall, I'm very impressed. I very much recommend it. I know all of you are going to buy it anyways. But nonetheless, there's my two cents. And be expecting a lot more gameplay in the near future. Subscribe, rate, comment, share this with your friends. It really helps me out. And I will see you all next time. This has been Magic People. Take it easy, everybody.